Welcome back, Forex fans. It's Rob here again with Interstellar Space Genesis and version 1.3 beta. And also with the natural law expansion. So we're going to keep playing. We're going to see what's going on. All right, so we're going to come down. We're going to figure, figure out what's here first. We're doing some scouting. It looks like the Palatians are doing the same thing. All right, there's a space amoeba. That sucks. Yeah, I'd be complaining too because it looks like we're going to lose. All right, so we actually fled. I thought that for some reason, I, uh, maybe no, that's right. Civilian ships can't flee. All right, so now that's active, which means, yeah, we've increased our production now, which makes sense. Before I was like, man, it didn't really do anything for my production, but that's because it has to be active. All right, we're going to keep going this way. All right, and what we'll do is once, oh, we'll come over here and move that way. Or medium. All right. Where is the survey ship? Okay, it's made it. It's made its way down here. Go ahead and. So this isn't a bad place. It's ultra rich, which means I am going to build a colony base. Ninety nine turns, and I'm gonna switch them around here. 33 turns for a colony base. That's a still a long time. It's a really long time. But it's better than having the outpost ship. Oh, let's go ahead and move our survey ship. And what I might do is... Is there anything yellow? I don't see any yellow other than that. We've already done the this one right here. Let's make sure. Yeah. Okay, well, I can mouse over it usually, right? No, I guess you can't mouse over it to see what the exploration... This is full. I wish it had... Oh, I think there's actually... Let me think about this. There is. There we go. I knew it. Show so strategic resources, too. Show systems with colonizable planets. I can see that. We have rallying points. Enables disables showing off all the rival fleet's lines, which are not going... Ooh. Can we show that? No. Okay. And show sensors. All right, that's cool. I like this because now I can see who's been... Where, where we've been with our survey ship. And I'll just keep going line by line here. All right. So, Simona's... Yeah, you're about to leave. That's cool. Peace out. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Three Parsecs fleets. There we go. You can now see this. Oh, there we go. We have something here. So that once he gets there, I'm going to move that one. And we'll send this fleet here. All right, we're increasing our population, which is great. Research. All right. Well, what do we do now? So... Huh. Starbase. I don't think we're going to need that just yet. Subsurface sur surface vault. Wow. Try that again. Subsurface vault. Might be something we work on. It'd be nice to have more population, but I don't think we're close to our population limits yet. 8 out of 32. Or no, or is it 32 turns until the next... Okay, yes, yeah, 32 turns. 8 out of 12. Yeah, we're not that close, so I don't really want to worry about that yet. Maybe we work on some... We've got shields, class 1 shields. Maybe we do something with... Oh. Hmm. The problem is we don't really need military just yet. I mean, it, we could. Like, any second. That would suck. But maybe, so maybe we do like fusion beams. And we could just go with tungsten gun, damage seven, fusion two to six. We'll do tungsten gun and take less time, three turns. There's not a leader. So Vuz Tajaj, Chile. He's a ship commander, maybe not. 
Looks like they've also taken their third colony too. All right, so the tungsten gun is complete. Good. And we'll figure out something else to go from there. I don't see... Yeah, there's no... There, we'll take the armor too. Oh, it's already researched. Okay, great. So, then let's look elsewhere. Quantum scanner is going to allow us five parsecs for fleet detection range. Combat jump displacement... Allow a ship to jump three times to any location in a combat instance. That's pretty cool. But we're not there yet, like I said. So, ooh, freighter port. Plus 50 production, plus 50 percent production from asteroid production. Exploitation is going to colony. That's going to help with our... That's going to help with our main colony here. I mean, we really need to get it up to snuff. It's got two more turns for the survey ship. All right, choose a new sector. We're going to keep going here. And our robotic factory is complete, so we'll need to do something there. We'll go ahead and just shift everything here. Complete trade goods. Cloning facility, not enough construction slots. Try to improve the infrastructure to... Oh, wow. Yeah, we'll have to wait for the infrastructure to allow us to have another slot there. All right, we've completed scouting of this one, well, the initial scouting. Here is this is where we want to take our survey ship, but it looks like everything else for the time being is out of reach. Galactic event. Emperor have just received an interesting request from our leading entertainment network. They have invited you to appear on their most popular late night talk show among all the major leaders of the empire with the host being online to take questions from private citizens. You'll have a chance to discuss your plans for our species, address the more recent controversies of your administration, say a few words about the alien empires, and otherwise answer all the other questions the host deems worthy of forwarding to you. Our elite is not favorable to this type of appearance, but the people would certainly appreciate it. Decline. Well, hot damn. I'm one of those prissy recluse. I'm not one of those prissy reclusive emperor emperors who is so above the common rabble. Plus 15% morale and empire for 10 turns. Negative 10 to all leaders' opinions. feel like, man, I wish I knew more about what was going on. Morale's not an issue, but I also don't want to lose... Oh, my God. That's a, that's a tough choice. I think I'm going to go with morale. And just hope that my leaders aren't in a position where they don't really like me. Oh, they, they are. Huh. Hopefully that doesn't mean they're going to run off. Survey ship's complete. Great. Alright, so let's start exploring more. You're going to have one more turn. Looks like we've met somebody new. The Multar. Hey, buddy. Great to see you. Sedema Prime is excited to get to know you better. Are you? Are you excited to get to know me better? I feel like we're like... Wow, so their technology is number one, their production is number three. Overall number one. Cool. wonder if we can see ourselves. No. It would be cool if we could see... I think we can. I feel like we could. Empire Overview? Maybe? Here we go, yeah. <laughs> We're doing super badly. I wonder why. I really do feel like I've gotten off to a slow start. We're third in technology out of three. Our fleets are three, our culture's three, our overall is three, our population's two, and our production's two. Like, we're really not doing very well. Maybe some space culture will help turn up. Negative 50% neg sorry, negative 50 turns to simulate one pop. Plus three pops instantly assimilate in every colony. We don't need that. Plus one percent morale per parsec away from Capital Empire. We could do the BC per turn. 
We could increase exploration. I feel like we could use some more money. We'll reduce this so more of this stuff gets done. In fact, if we can, let's go back. Yes, okay, great. So that's a higher science rate and a higher space culture rate. But still not where I really want to be. Hopefully this will help out with the research. I wonder what they've got here. So Firebird FR and Firebird FR. All right, and what do you have here? A skate FR. Sorry, freighter, I'm guessing they're freighters. Or frigus, my bad. So, Sarek's population is increased. Wow, okay. I'm a bit disappointed in my ranking. Feels bad, man. All right. Possible to explore ruins. Is that with the survey ship? Yes, it is. Even better. So we're going to. Let's go ahead and survey. So your science team arrived on, this, on the surface. Faint energy readings were detected as they approached the location of the ruins. The team suffered some losses when a lone Sulak agent, agent triggered an explosive device near them. The rogue Sulak was in Killed in the blast, and the excavation of the state was delayed until replacement equipment and additional personnel arrived on the scene. But we discovered 705 BC. Take that, Sulak. You tried. But you failed. You failed miserably. Alright. Oh, nope. That's not where we want to go. 100% that's not where we want to go. You, though, let's take you down here. And... God, I really want to do something more. I feel like we just are so slow. Outpost ships are coming. Colony base is coming, so that'll help us a bit. We can do this. Oh, look, there's more. Diplo action. Sharing what you love with a good friend is such a great feeling, isn't it? Let's start sharing some of the stuff with each other so you both can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. What are we sharing? Is it a trade treaty? Yeah, it is. Okay. Cool. We can go with that. Hold up. So the freight report's coming, and it looks like Little offspring's coming my way. There's one constable frigate. Maybe we send the other one there too. Alright, so planetary supercomputer is complete. Great. Remote exploration activities have nothing to report. Fleet report. And we hold on a second. An ancient shipyard. Plus five. Oh well, okay. This would be really awful for us, though. So we're going to move. Before that ship's, <laughs> ship attacks us. I don't know. It might choose a new sector. So we'll take this one up here. Research complete. Research complete. All right. Um, let's move our ships farther out. And then let's also consider building new ships. I just don't see anything else that's helping us out with our need for more production. This is going to be next because we do need to start building ships. All right, we're not going to worry about this. Oh, great, cool. Let's actually go to combat with this one. Nope, can't hit it yet. Let's see, I remember there was like a different... Yes, look at that. It's a nice angle there. I like it. Oh, cool. Is that what you want to do? Wow, you're going to crush us. I mean, for an offspring, it's still super powerful. Let's 
Uh, oh well. I don't combat this. Bye. Now, is that going to do anything against me? Okay, we definitely didn't want to do that. Infrastructure upgrade. Great. So we can actually build another slot here now and allow for the cloning facility to be built, which will allow us to increase our population quicker. I'll go ahead and just shove it down this way a little bit more. Can we get seven turns? Wow, okay, we'll do that. And now we're about to lose another one of our frigates because we sent it that way. The Enlightened One. All right, so she is three BC per turn. I'll take her. And she'll go to our other colony. Wait, no, I don't need to have her spy. Actually, wait, no, maybe I do. No, I don't want her to get more leaders. I don't want more leaders right now. Uh, let's auto-resolve this so we can run. Yeah, there we go. All right, fleet report. So, ancient ruins. The away team felt that the ancient site seemed to emanate an almost tangible aura of fear. They braved through nonetheless. The team discovers that the site was long overrun by a hostile force who left it to rot after exterminating the defenders. While searching the area, thoroughly found many trinkets and curiosities along with a functioning nano swarm, a powerful device. Description, this system unleashes a nanite swarm upon an enemy ship with point defense weapon range. The swarm steals 10 to, wow, seriously, this is great. But it's from the system, and I guess it's like a... I mean, I guess it's like a system defense thing. And it really isn't that great for us. In fact, we can't even tolerate the biome. I really don't want people to find that, though. Plus 10 space culture from colonies on this planet. Sorry. Yeah. <sighs> I don't want anybody else to have that. But we can't really do anything with it. All right. Well, what are we doing here? We've got an outpost ship coming. All right. So now we're eight parsecs away. We'll go ahead and have, let's just risk it, risk it, gotta risk it for the biscuit. I don't even know what that means. Hey there, she wonders, she waits, Reiko waits your communication, she waits your offer. Uh, will you accept a gift? No, I don't want to give them. They're overall three. Which makes me overall four, probably. Am I overall four now? Jeez. I'm upset by that. We're gonna have to do something to make that turn around. We're gonna have to fix it. All right, you leveled up. That's good. Administration for, what is that, tax revenue? No, we don't need additional tax revenue. We'll take the RP per pop, though. And star guide, plus 5% interstellar tour. Yeah, you know what? There's nothing we, we can only learn one. I call shenanigans. What's up with that? All right, so one turn left for this. What is, what is the last thing we're doing? What is it we're researching? Space elevator. Okay. All right. Space elevator is done. And fleet report. An ancient artifact special has been found. Ooh, it says a ancient artifact. It should say an. Found something. All right. Let's go ahead and look. The away team assembled a base camp near the ruins and prepared to explore in the name of science. Small horde of squat-legged six-legged six squat, six creatures were found inhabiting the site. They eyed the team curios 
curiously as they went through their mission, but did not pose any danger to them. And then we end up founding weapons of mass destruction with our, which were okay. But the technology would be recycled for 110 BC. I'm rich, but I have got nothing to do with that money. I can't buy things out yet, can I? I bet I can, actually. I mean, I know it's so expensive. Yeah, see, it's super expensive to buy things out. And even with a thousand BC, I feel like I'd be wasting money doing that. I mean, it is six turns, though. I don't know. It just doesn't feel worth it. Fleet report found. Yep. Let's find research. All right. So what can we do to fix this situation? So our science is low. So that would need. So is galactic archive. We can travel faster. Hollow deck is for the leaders. Starbase colony can destroy starbase. So three ship support units, empire. Fusion power plants. How about we do something here so we can just, no, this is all weapons and stuff. I'm not really worried about that. Construction, we should just definitely do something here so we can unlock this. And if there's anything, I'll take the subsurface vault for now. Yeah, you can leave, sorry. All right, with that, it looks like these guys are connected. Take this one up, and then we'll take this one and see where else can we go. We'll go here. It appears to be, yeah, they've got production asteroid belt there. Oh my god, did I leave this here that whole time? All right, we're going to come up here. Actually, we'll come over here and take this. Anywhere else there's an asteroid belt? I'd really like one. Is there any way to see if there's asteroid belts? There's, mm, I think there is here. Asteroid belt, there we go. There's one up there as well. And there's one down there. So we'll take, I think we'll take this one next. Assuming that's what we're gonna do next. So, an outpost ship. For five turns, 376 BC, we're going to do it. Alright, great. So now we can see what's next in the line of that there. We're going to come up here and take this. And deep core mine is good. Plus two production per pop unit colony. And what about here? I mean, like, what's... Technological capital, that's good. But what about more, more technological stuff? We could do this because we're about to gain fusion power plants. So let's go ahead and do that. Or sorry, we're about to gain the helium three. All right, we've got this going, which is good. That's definitely good. All right. Oh, look at that like little dust tornado there. Space elevator, freighter fleets. I think we have freighters, right? That's freighters there. No. We're gonna need some if we're gonna start having... Well, let's look at space elevator first. Five turns, and then the freighter fleets will take less time. That'd be good. It's not you. It's you. All right, so the vault. Plus two. Oh, we don't need that yet. But we should add the cloning facility. More. More people. More people. All right, cloning facility completed. Very good. And that means we're gonna to need to build more stuff there. Marigo has another level. 
plus 10% uh, plus 10 bonus production and trade extra. Yeah, we're going to do that. And then Trailblazer for 100% production value, production when building colony based in the system. No, wish we had something more. We'll take the spiritual leader. And then looks like our production is increasing. So maybe we can put out some output or some output ships quickly. Not as quickly as I'd like, though. Really, not nearly as quickly as I'd like. How are we doing? Are we okay? We've actually overcome the kick. Looks like the Multars are doing very well. Let's actually see if we can maybe. They're pleased with us, so let's talk to them. I have a treaty proposal to make. Let's sign a mining treaty and ensure a wealth of strategic resources. Each mining treaty will also provide a bonus of up to 200 flat production divided by all colonies to both empires. Yes, we accept that. Yes. I like this. All right. Production's higher then, right? I don't know. I don't know how that works. It said... Maybe I should have read that a little bit closer. <laughs> Let's go over here and see what they have. A proposal. So... Propose a trade treaty. A mining treaty. But the mining treaty empires agree to allow each other to enter the other territory to build outposts in order to exploit asteroid belts or, or accretion disks for their strategic resources. Each mining tre treaty will also provide a bonus of up to 200 flat production divided by all colonies to both empires. I feel like that's a big deal. Okay, so this isn't something you want to do. Well, how about we offer a small tip? Your offer is acceptable. Much work can still be done with a small gift. Good. Well, maybe we can butter them up. Make a trade treaty happen soon. All right, cool. So, so far, so good. I think things are slightly improving, right? <laughs> I don't feel like we're all that far behind the palatial. Oh, maybe we are. Somehow the Multars have just taken off. I wonder what it is that they're doing. What are you guys doing, huh? We've got one technology, one culture... Production is not very high, though. So we could take them out. Huh. That might be something we do. If they're not capable of making warships, then they wouldn't be in number, number one, huh? <laughs> Anyways, stay tuned for episode three. Thanks for watching so far. Hopefully you're enjoying it. And let me know if there's anything you want to see. Actually, I mean, a lot of people are playing this game, probably. But... Yeah, I mean, I, I'm really enjoying the upgrades here. This, especially the diplomacy stuff, it's feeling like a little, bit, a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more immersive. I like that a lot. So stay tuned for episode three. Thanks for watching. This is Rob from Explominate. Until next time, keep exploring.